Hello and welcome YouTubers. My name is Michael Candolo. Today I start off by introducing an exchange server for mailing into our environment by showing you how to install or implement Exchange Server 2016. Then I will proceed with the administration of Exchange in another video session and later on we'll talk about some troubleshooting techniques and how to resolve issues should they arise because they will eventually shout out to these beautiful people Von Antley and Ruchen. If you want to be mentioned into my next video, then subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Let's dive in. Yes, I've gone ahead and uh joined a uh, uh, member server to our domain and that member server is the one that is going to host exchange server it's called kmt exc so this is our exchange server i've gone ahead of time uh joined this uh member server to the domain and also I've given it a static IP address as you can see is 192.168.0.10 this is the static IP address for our exchange server but in certain environment you'll find exchange installed on domain controllers but here I follow Microsoft best practices which recommends that Exchange be installed on a member server. This installation considers a single server deployment of Exchange Server 2016 with the mailbox server role. Before you install Exchange, I recommend that you install it in an isolated test environment. That's because this test environment will act as your proof of concept for your new Exchange Server 2016 design. Then based on the results, you can either move forward or roll back any implementations before deploying it in your production environment. Test, test and test before deploying into production. Microsoft Exchange Server is a mail and calendar ring server developed by Microsoft. It runs exclusively on Windows Server operating systems. But before deploying Exchange, we need to meet some prerequisites. Uh, make sure your windows are patched with the latest updates so that you have all the latest .NET versions installed. So before uh, implementing or installing Exchange Server 2016, we need to meet some uh, uh, requirements. So for us to go ahead and install Exchange Server 2016, we need to have some uh, software installed that are required for this process to complete. So the first one is .NET version 4.8. So I've gone ahead and I uh, downloaded the uh, .NET uh, version 4.8 for offline install and then uh, we'll need to have uh, Visual C++ and PowerShell. PowerShell comes uh, installed in Windows Server 2016 by default. 
and also Microsoft Unified Communications Managed API. So when it comes to installing Shin Server 2016, you can install it in two ways. The first method is more of a GUI based setup where you run setup without any command line switches. This provides an interactive experience where you are guided by the Exchange 2016 setup wizard. And the second method is you run setup with command line switches that uh, facilitates you to install Exchange Server from an interactive command line or through a script. But in this instance or in this video presentation, I use the first method, uh, which is the GUI based one. So as you can see, uh, my DC one, uh, my DC one uh, is online. DC two is online, and also remember the splitting of our fismorals that we did in our earlier video or uh, training session. So that's why I put all these two DCs online. And uh, the account that is used to install Exchange Server is a member of uh, Enterprise Admins Group and Schema Admins Group. Okay, the installation is complete for .NET uh, Framework 4.8 version. Click Finish. So the next one is the Visual C++ redistributable package. Agree. Install. Close. So since the Visual C++ as installed successfully, let's run some uh, PowerShell command led. PowerShell run other administrator. Okay. Let's run this first commandlet you can also do this via GUI but the quickest uh, way is via PowerShell success restart no Access through. So let's run another PowerShell commandlet. Copy and paste. Let's press enter. Here we have a problem. It tells us uh, install Windows feature argument not valid. So let's try to run these other commands let to find out why we can't run this commandlet. Okay. So let's get Windows activation. Okay, let's try another one. Let's
as you can see there is HTTP activation doesn't exist so the problem is we're trying to install uh, the Windows Server 2012 out to prerequisite it onto Windows Server 2016 so the prerequisite that you're gonna run is as follow copy this commandlet and paste so let's see now as you can see it's installing so this is the proper command that should have been suggested to be run So you need to pay attention to details. We start needed no. So as you can see, success, we start no. So the next step is to install Microsoft Exchange Server 2016. But before that, you need to extend the Active Directory schema and prepare your Active Directory forest and its domain. So I've gone ahead of time and mounted Exchange Server 2016 installation media. As you can see, so you have Exchange Server 2016 that is already mounted. So I'm gonna launch the command prompt as administrator and navigate to path where setup files are present. There we go. set up files they are sitting on D okay we have Microsoft Exchange dot MSI setup dot exe so let me go ahead and copy this command and press enter Okay, it says there is a pending reboot from a previous installation of the Windows Server role or feature. Please restart the computer and then run setup again. So right click on the start command prompt
go to the drive uh, where the exchange install files are located okay let's run this command As you can see, it's uh, extending the Active Directory schema. Okay, extending Active Directory schema is completed. As you can see, extending Active Directory schema completed. So the next command I'm gonna run is prepare Active Directory. Press enter. Organization preparation completed. Because this is a brand new exchange server, we have to specify the organization name Cam Trainer. But uh, if we are installing Exchange Server into an existing Exchange organization, we wouldn't need to specify the organization name. So we could just have run this command setup.exe forward slash accept Exchange Server license terms forward slash prepare AD. That's it. These steps create uh, additional containers, security groups, and set permissions so that Exchange can access them. So now the next step uh, is to download and install uh, Unified Communication Managed API 4.0 runtime. So I had gone ahead and downloaded the UCMA one time double click next install unified communication managed API 4.0 runtime has been installed click finish okay additional step that I'm gonna go through is to run another command In this instance I'm gonna open PowerShell PowerShell as admin, which is where we are right now. Let me close the other window. Command prompt. Okay. Copy and paste, click enter. Success. Now you have prepared your server to install Exchange Server 2016. So to avoid any other errors or asking me for pending reboot, I'm gonna go ahead and restart my Exchange Server.
so as you can see we have some users here in um, our active directory which are related to exchange which you did not have before So you can see we have Microsoft Exchange Security Groups. There we go. And we have some users. That's why we're extending the schema and also preparing our organization. Now let's start uh, the installation of Exchange server 2016 connect to the internet and check for updates no don't click next Click next. I accept the terms in the license agreement. Go through read it. Click next. Server role selection. I'm gonna go with mailbox role. and select this one the air transport role can be only run on a server that is on the perimeter network or DMZ Click next here you can change the location but I'm gonna go with the default Click next I'm gonna go to default, click next. So it tells us Visual C 2013 redistributable package is a required component. So let's go and download it. Okay, let's double click, run, install, close. Let's retry again. Prerequisite analysis completed. Let's go ahead and click install. So now you can go ahead, grab a cup of coffee, and wait until the Exchange server is installed on your server.
setup completed congratulations setup has finished successfully to complete the installation of microsoft exchange server reboot the computer so let's go ahead and reboot our server okay so the server has now been rebooted let's go and open exchange admin center so i'm gonna click start microsoft exchange server 2016 exchange admin center advanced proceed to local host there we go so you can see domain username so the domain is cam trainer name is angel type the password enter so we don't have yet the certificate so that's why uh, it says not secure so the only user that we have a super admin user and it's got an email address I can get at camtrainer.co.za so this is the window where we gonna be administering our exchange server we can also use exchange management shell all right so we have our exchange admin center uh, that's where most of the magic will happen uh, uh, for the management of uh, our exchange environment we can also use uh, exchange toolbox cfq viewer there for checking the mails and we have also exchange management shell for certain command that we cannot uh, run uh, within the GUI there we go so exchange management shell so you have exchange management shell we have uh, QViewer we have uh, exchange toolbox we have exchange admin center all right but for now we have only one user which is super admin I can get at cam trainer dot zero today and that's it so you have seen the uh, implementation or installation of uh, exchange on a member server on windows server 2016 
My goal is to teach uh, and inspire people worldwide by educating them in information technology and contribute to the constant change of the world. Not by limiting technology, but by sharing with everyone eager to learn. To make you better than you were yesterday. I hope that I can be that person who will help you or give you that extra push in life. So, it's time for me now to sign out. Stay humble, stay hungry for IT knowledge. Until next time, stay blessed.